The topic for discussion today is how to pick good companies. I'm going to offer you a very simple process. Uh, the selection is based on minimizing risk and maximizing gain, as always. First of all, you have to look at the price. Uh, the situation right now is that the stock market is very depressed. So um, most of the stocks has been beaten down. And all you need is to find those stocks that have been beaten down by emotion, not for their own financial problem. Secondly, we have to find those companies which have made decent profits for the previous years. Now, this is very important for survival because if you make a lot of profits, you have a lot of cash on hand. This will help you survive through the difficult periods ahead, which may last for several months. Uh, we also have to make a judgment call to look at those companies which seem to be near the bottom. Although we don't know where is the bottom and when is the bottom, but we have to try to make a judgment based on whatever we've seen as reasonable. And if possible, we have to find a company which is well established. And the best place to start is in the Dow Jones Industrial Average. Average. All the companies which have been listed there, the so-called Dow components, they are well established companies. Let me give you a few of those companies. Alcoa, the symbol is AA. And you look at the price for the past few months, it's come down from $40 since July 08 to about 10. And you look at their earnings. Last year, they made $6 billion profit, which is uh, cash, hard cash. And you look at the price to earning ratio is very low, 4.3. By industrial standard, this is very low price earning ratio. However, every company has risks. The, the risk for this company is that since they are a aluminum producer, so they depend on the price of aluminum. And the price of aluminum has been coming down for quite a few months. And also their business depends on the amount of construction going on, aircraft manufacturing, and consumer industries like uh, cans for Coca-Cola or Pepsi. So all of these uh, may be coming down in the near future. So this represents the risk for Alcoa. The second company we look at is General Electric. GE is, is a symbol. It's been down from 40 to 18 since last year. This is a very big company. They've earned last year 80 billion hard cash and also a very low PE ratio, 8.7. Uh, this company has uh, less risk because they are in a very diversified business. They make all kinds of uh, products for the heavy industry machinery. So uh, this company has uh, lower risk. Next one, Intel, INTC, been, been down from 30 to 15 since last year. Earnings last year, about 28 billion. PE ratio, 11.3. Risk, since uh, Intel makes uh, chips for PCs and other products. So you have to look at the demand for PCs cell phones, automobiles, where they use uh, chips. The next one, Microsoft, down 35 to 22 since December last year. Earnings, 66 billion. PE ratio, 11.3. Risk, again, Microsoft software is used in PCs so you have to look at the demand for PCs, cell phones, 
and other software. Pfizer, TFE, a drug company, down 25 to 17 since January this year. Earnings per year, 42 billion. PE ratio, 10.6. Risk, uh, some of their drugs have patents, but some of them are expiring. So they are losing the high price privilege for some of their drugs. And also, there's another uncertainty, which is government healthcare reform, which may be instituted next year. So these are the risks that uh, the Pfizer is facing. The next one, Home Depot XD, down 30 to $20 since August this year. Last year earning 13 billion, PE ratio 9.8, risk, as we know, the housing and the construction business is contracting. So uh, Home Depot is also facing this risk. Bank of America, BAC, down 40 to 21 since September this year. Last year earning 20 billion, PE ratio 17.9, risk. With all the banks in the US, you have to look at their exposure to default mortgages because uh, they're holding a lot of mortgages which are in default right now. So they have to write down billions of dollars. I've got two more companies for you. Applied Materials, AMAT. It is not listed in the Dow, so it's not a Dow component. It's been down $20 to 12 since July this year. Earnings last year, $4 billion. P.E. ratio, 13.8. Applied material makes uh, uh, chips and manufacturing equipment. So if the chip industry is down, like Intel, then Intel will order less from applied material. Oracle, ORCL, not listed in the Dow. Down 23 to 16 since July this year. Earning last year, 22 billion. PE ratio 14.7, risk, database software. There ain't no good in our goodbye. True love takes a lot of trying. Oh, I'm crying. Bitch. 